Welcome everyone. Um, in this video, we'll walk through you through the NX OS 9000V deployment on vSphere 6.5. Before we proceed, we need an image to down, uh, to, to deploy, all right? So I'll go to google.com. All right, I'll just search for NX OS 9000V download. Click on the first link. In Cisco Systems website, uh, make sure you download the latest version, which is 703i62. And for vSphere 6.5, only OVA deployment is supported. So make sure you download the OVA file, which is 769.60 MB size. Click download, and once you're ready, um, you know we'll move on to the next section. For the convenience, we have already downloaded the file for you. So we'll close this browser. We'll move on to the vCenter uh, web client, which is 6.5. And uh, under the cluster, I will just right click and deploy an OVF template. Under the OVF, select the template. So I would, um, under the local file, browse the file. As you see, I already have that file downloaded on my desktop. So I'll select this file and click OK. Next, provide the convenient name for your Nexus switch. I'll provide Nexus 9000 V switch one. I'll select the folder where I want this virtual machines to virtual machines to be installed. Then I'll provide the resource under which resource pool it will install the 9000V virtual machine. So currently it is actually validating the resources, avail available resources. Once it is done, we'll move on to review details. So just uh, click next. We'll keep the default profile for the configuration. Click next. Make sure you select the shared data store. I have an iSCSI data store that I've selected. Next. Um, you would have an Ethernet around uh, six Ethernet adapters, right? So the first adapter is always the management interface, and other five are actually the normal Ethernet interfaces that you would connect to your spine switches or your leaf switches in an eVPN setup. Rather, I should say, click finish. All right, so it has started the deployment of uh, the OVF file. So it is importing the OVF package and deploying it. So I'll pause this video for your convenience and we'll kick off again once it is complete. All right, we are back. As you can see, um, the OVF template and the package has already been deployed. And Nexus 9000V switch 1 is actually deployed. Before we power on this machine, we need to edit settings um, under this virtual machine. So select that virtual machine. Click Action. Edit settings. First thing that we um, are going to use is a serial port one. So normally, um, any virtual machines that you install, you can have access to its console and direct switch or router prompt. But with the Nexus 9000V, that's not the case. So you need a ser serial port to actually connect to the prompt of your switch. So, so in the serial port one, we'll use a network option and direction should be server. This would act, act as a server to accept the connection. And we would accept telnet as a protocol and 192.168.110.51 as a server IP address. And then I would colon, I'll say, 
double five double five. So now you would ask here, you know, why we are using the IP address as 192.168.110.51, right? Uh, I'm sorry, I did some mistake. So I thought it was installed on uh, 01A, which is .51. So this is going to be .52. Okay, so dot fifty two is the I management IP address of the ESX zero two A dot corp dot local. All right. So when we're done with that, leave it as default. We go to VM options tab, boot options. On a boot options, you would change the BIOS recommended to EFI, and click OK. That's all modification that has to be done uh, for that VM. Apart from that, we'll go to the ESXi02A corp.local. Okay. And uh, we go to security profile for that ESXi. We're going to enable the incoming connection, right? So through serial port. So to enable that, we'll draw down go down and to, to make sure that we'll make sure that VM serial port connected over network is checked okay that will allow us to access our VM you know over the incoming ports 1024 and 23 and allow connections from any IP address. So any IP address can access this virtual machines remotely over 192.168.110.52 colon and the port number is 5555. I click OK. Apart from that, go to the advanced settings. So for the virtual machines, for the memory access, I would change the settings So memory allocation guest large page, uh, we will set it to zero. Okay. Folks, this is all what you need to set up a Nexus 9000V switch. So now the, for the first time, uh, we are going to power it on. Okay. The next thing is that we will have access to the console of the 9000V switch. As you can see, it's actually booting and loading the image. So at the at the bottom, you can see the size of the image is 756 MB and is going to load and it's still going to take its own time. Till that time, we'll pause the video and come back again. All right, welcome back. And uh, at this page, you can see image length read and Im image hash. Apart from that, it says living grubland. So now this means that uh, you would be able to access this virtual machine or the switch console through serial port. To access through the serial port, what you need to do is you need to open the putty and uh, enter the IP address of the server and the port number was double five double five and the protocol was telnet now when you telnet you see you have access to the virtual machine through a serial port. I'll expand this. Uh, Alright, so till the, prompt, till the time we get a prompt for initial setup, I'll pause this video again as it is, uh, you know, still in the process of uh, you know, loading the files. I believe we are almost done. Uh, but still I will pause and uh, come back once it is properly visible to us for further configuration. 
All right, so we're back, and uh, as you can see, start, it's starting uh, the auto provisioning. So the first thing it opts, uh, up, ask you is about abort auto provisioning and continue with the normal setup. So I will say yes. All right, so the first thing that it asks you is to set the admin password. I'll set it to VMware one bang. So would you like to get it, enter the basic configuration? Yes. Create another login account, no. SNMB string, no, no community string. I'll say Nexus 9000V switch one. Continue the out of band management, management board configuration. I'll say yes. It is asking me the management IP address. So 192.168.110.222.2. Two, 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 two. All right, so mask would be slash 24. <laughs> default gateway. So default gateway would be 110.1. I'll say yes. Oh. I'm really sorry. So it was, uh, I need to put it yes and then give it the default gateway. Dot one. Advanced happy options, no. Telnet service, yes. SSH, yes. I'll generate an RSA based key. 2048 is the size. NDB server, no. Keep L2 default. Switch port shut by default. And what would be the control plane policing uh, profile? I would say lenient. This is all the configuration that it has generated and would put even I say no here. Use this configuration and save it. Yes. All right, so it is asking me to uh, save the running configuration to startup. I will say yes. All right, finally, we have completed the setup of my Nexus 9000V switch. I'll log in with my admin account. Password, and here you go you have access to your own Nexus 9000V switch, which is a virtual machine installed on vSphere 6.5. I hope this video has been informative for you. Thanks for watching.